Hi everyone, so today I just wanted to make a little video to look through some plastic free, zero waste kind of swaps that you can make in the house, the bathroom, toiletries, any of that kind of thing that can make a big difference to the planet but aren't very expensive. So first of all we'll have a look at something I think a lot of people probably already know about, um, but if you don't, so one of the easy swaps you can make is to a bamboo toothbrush. So less plastic, um, just as good for your teeth and you can get them in different bristle types as well so if you prefer soft bristles, hard bristles then you're all sorted. Um, another thing is tooth floss. So if you're someone that does floss I'm sure you know that obviously it's in a plastic container but actually the floss as well is plastic so when you put it in the bin that's gonna take a really really long time to degrade. Whereas you can get these little refillable packs and then this is just made of a kind of resin that naturally degrades and you can just get refills for them so that's really easy. Then another one is deodorant. So, obviously aerosols aren't good for the planet anyway, but then even roll-on deodorants, that's still plastic packaging, but you can buy nice zero-waste ones. This one's sandalwood and bergamot, but you can buy all different flavours, you can get them online, in shops, there's a lot of them nowadays. And it's just like it normally would be, a just push up one, and then you, it, you just use it normally like roll-on. Um, then also, if you need makeup wipes or anything like that, Rather than getting wipes that you know you use once and you just throw away, you can get these little makeup pads. So these are quite easy to make yourself if you're handy with a sewing machine, but these ones are bought. <laughs> I'm not quite that good with the sewing machine yet. So again, just they're really soft. Um, and then once you've used them once, you can just put them in the wash, wash them with your normal wipes, and they'll come out lovely. And then you don't need to be using cotton wool or anything like that again. So as well as in the bathroom and for toiletries, there are also quite a lot of different plastic free kitchen swaps that you can make. So first of all, you can get beeswax or soy wax if you'd prefer, food wraps. So you can use these instead of cling film. You can wrap sandwiches in them if you've got leftovers in the fridge. Basically how they work is to begin with, they're quite stiff and then you just use the heat of your hand, crumple it, let go and it stays. So they work really well in keeping things nice in the fridge or yeah, keeping your sandwiches good throughout the day. Um, and so other things for the kitchen, you can also get, so this is plastic, but it's reusable. Um, so you use it instead of baking paper, so you can cut out circles that fit your cake tins. These have been cut out to fit a baking tray. Um, and as you can tell, they're very well loved. Um, yeah, we've had this one for a long time and you just wash them up like you would normally. Then you could just leave them to dry and you can reuse them. So you don't have to use baking paper and put it in the bin every time. So there are also other swaps that you can make for the kitchen. So this is compostable bin bags. Now you probably already use compostable bags for your little green kitchen waste bins, but by using compostable bags for your bins as well, it's really good because less plastic in the environment. It means when they do go to landfill, any kind of organic waste that's in your bins, because of this compostable bag, it means that it will be able to degrade into the environment as well, rather than just staying in a black bin bag in a landfill site. So the other one is for all you pet owners out there. So these are biodegradable poop bags. I'm sure that everyone hates when you're going out on a walk and somebody's left their dog's waste right in the path um, or hung it up in a tree. Why? So with this one, they're really good because when you do throw your dog's poo away, it means that you've got a biodegradable bag. Obviously, the poo itself is biodegradable, so all that's stopping it is when you use the normal plastic bags. But this way, they can compost naturally, everything can go back into the soil and it's not left out on the path. So it's a win-win for everybody. So the last swap that we're going to be talking about today is to do with your washing. So whenever you have clothes with polyester or any kind of other plastic fibre in them, what happens is when they go in the wash and it moves them around, little bits of plastic fibre come off and those can then obviously they go into the water, they can go into the waterways, into the systems and it's really bad for the environment because obviously they can build up. So a good way to stop this is getting something like this, which is called a guppy bag. So any of your polyester clothes, even if it's 5%, 10% polyester, it's worth just chucking them in here. You just zip it up and then wash as you would completely normally. And basically what happens is it collects all of the microfibers and it will just get them in there and you can just take that out and put it in the bin. So won't affect your washing at all. They're not too expensive and they last a very long time, even when you accidentally dye them a different colour with new clothes. <laughs> Yeah, so helps the environment, really easy to do and won't affect your washing at all.